Communities of color are disproportionately underrepresented in the health workforce. That trend won't change unless we prioritize the problem now. How do we achieve health workforce equity? We start with getting on the same page about the scale of the problem. We gathered data on people currently working in or training in 10 healthcare professions. Compared to the overall health workforce, Black healthcare workers were underrepresented by an average 46% across professions and in all of the 10 professions that we looked at. Additionally, in five of 10 professions, the representation of Black graduates in the pipeline is lower than in the current workforce. Hispanic healthcare workers were underrepresented by 76% and in 10 out of 10 professions. Native American people are underrepresented by 46% in the health workforce and in nine out of 10 of the health professions, with Native American graduates underrepresented by 43%. Even with slight improvements in the pipeline for Native American and Hispanic graduates, representation in our healthcare workforce isn't where it needs to be. So how do we start moving in the right direction? It's really about access and it's about it's about access early on for generations, quite frankly, Black, Hispanic, and Native American students haven't had the same level of opportunity. Um, but what we have seen is that when institutions and policies create access, um, those opportunities are maximized by students of color. I myself am a product and testimony that that these programs work. And I'm a believer that you have to, you know, share the wealth, right? You have to pay it forward. We have lost, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of, of people in the U.S. to COVID-19. And disproportionately, most of, most of the affected ones have been racial and ethnic minorities. Racial and ethnic minorities receive less access and less quality of care services when we don't have a diverse health workforce.